Uh, Cosmic Avenger. Yeah, this was a game that I remember as being the pack-in title, but obviously that's not true. Maybe it was in Canada, and that's why I think that. But um, it was definitely an early title. I saw it being played, you know, on the demonstration uh, machines. Cosmic Avenger basically is a scramble. If you played Scramble, you know what this game is. Uh, scramble was obviously this massively influential, created the genre, and uh, Cosmic Avenger is that. But the weird thing about Scramble is there was no real home port unless you had a Vectrex. Uh, unfortunately, I did, and I played a lot of this along with Berserk on the Vectrex. It was a really well-realized port, uh, so good. But if you had an Atari, then you were stuck with some of the other early scrolling shooters like Vanguard or Super Cobra, which is weird because Super Cobra is the sequel to Scramble, a much more ambitious game, and the 2600 really struggles with it, especially the scrolling. I'm going to mention the scrolling on uh, Cosmic Avenger when we get to playing that, but boy, oh boy, you want to play a game that's bad for the eyes, play Super Cobra for the Atari. So all that being said, yeah, that is actually good to play in Cosmic Avenger with a brief heads up that during the last part, when we get to the third screen, um, there's some blinking going on because of the CRT TV that if you have epilepsy, that might be bad to watch because it does flicker and blink in a really distracting way. And I don't know why it does that. But So let's get to playing right now. And as always, on this video series, we are playing Skill 4. All right, that's it. Cosmic Avenger. You'll notice our first appearance of a uh, CRT. It's a matter of convenience at the current moment for reasons that are not obvious, but... The real shame is you probably won't be able to see the scan lines as well as I do in person, which is the real charm of the ColecoVision hooked up to a CRT. Um, so as before, we're going to be going with skill four. So again, I don't know how well you can see it, but skill four. This is pretty serious. So just like with Scramble, you got your shots and your bombs. But the one difference, one big difference is the way you can accelerate your scrolling speed. Like you accelerate this, oof, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, this game throws more at you than Scramble does right off the bat, it seems like. But, um, oh boy, this is, okay, there we go. I'm just sort of barreling through here. It's not gonna be good for my score, but at least I'm still alive, right? All right, made to the second stage. Oh, well, that UFO took me out. All right, let's keep it going full steam. So I think in school, the higher skill levels here, it throws the UFOs at you in addition to the tanks. I think the skill one is just the tanks at this stage. Now you gotta watch out for the explosions. Like you can blow something up, but the explosion on the screen will still kill you. So you gotta be careful of that. And oof, yeah, you know, see that's what happened right there. I'm not sure I can make it to the, at least to the third stage. I wanna try to equip myself fairly well here. I can do okay at this game, even on skill four. I feel like I'm uh, not too bad at this game. I mean, not great either. I don't, I actually don't love this game a lot, even though I really do like Scramble. This, oh, here we go. I'm, for some reason now we're underwater. At least I assume that's what this level is supposed to represent. I think that's what the mines are there, like those sea mines. Oh boy. The scrolling on the screen, I think, is what really bums me out. It's just so jittery. Like, it really shows off the uh, trouble that the ColecoVision had scrolling, scrolling. I think the refresh rate on the TV is playing heck with our recording. I want to play one more time. Uh, so the score over there is 5290. Let's see if I can do better. Let's give it another go. I feel like I've gotten higher scores before. I just want to give it one more play. Because I do, I guess I do like this game a bit, but... Like I said, I think a big problem with this this game is like the scrolling. It's not very smooth. Um, if it had a smoother scrolling, I think I'd probably like it a little bit more. It's also not quite as much... Oh, oh that's not a good start. Not quite as much variety. Like, it's sort of denser. Um, but I don't think it's as fun as Scramble. Scramble kind of has a really nice flow to the gameplay. Oh, I'm really in trouble there for a minute. I do like the way you can take out those towers. The stuff on the towers. Yeah, I think we're doing a little bit better now. Yeah, I don't know if I love the sound design in this game either, to be honest. It's very bouncy, if you know what I mean. It's very shrill. This game is very shrill to play. 
Okay, let's get out of this first stage at least. I mean, I've died twice on the first stage already. That's not good. Okay, at least I made it to the second stage. I really got a motor booter. Motor booter. That's not a word. Oh, I embarrassed myself again. Well, the fact that I made it to the third stage means you've seen everything this game has to offer. Uh, yeah, so what was that score I got again? 55,000 something. I guess that's got to be my score for now. I hope you can beat it. I'm sure you can. <laughs> so that's Cosmic Avenger. That's been inside of this, and I uh, hope this recording came out all right with the uh, CRT. I guess we'll see how it goes, huh? Right, Cosmic Avenger. There we go. Not a bad game. Uh, it's rough around the edges. I'd still rather play Scramble, but pretty neat. Whatever. What can you say about it? Cosmic Avenger, skill four. Try to beat the score. I'll see you next time, hopefully. And hopefully it won't be two weeks till the next video. <laughs> Cheers.